Aries, welcome to your reading. I hope that this message finds you while you're in good health and good wealth. Hope that you're doing something that you love today, tonight, this afternoon, whenever this message finds you, simply because you deserve to. Aries, thank you for all the likes, comments, subscribes, and donations to my channel. They truly mean the world to me. Um, let's get right into your reading. We're going to get you some overall energies from your spirit guides, and then we will get into the tarot and clarify. Protection is our first card out. Bond. Trickery in the reverse. Upheaval in the reverse. Growth and anticipation in the reverse. I feel like you have recently dodged a bullet, Aries. You are heavily protected right now. I feel like you might not even be in awareness of just how protected you are or the type of bullet that you have just dodged. It has to do something with the connection, right? So either making a friend or losing a friend, meeting a lover or releasing a lover, whatever you did, was your guides leading you down that path for your highest good, for your protection? I feel like you have exited a time period or a place in your life of being deceived. We have trickery in the reverse and upheaval in the reverse. It's like... I feel like your life is a lot simpler or things are going a lot more smooth now. And I don't think you realize the type of growth or the type of change that is about to happen for you, right? The type of growth that you have made or, and created for yourself or the type of change that is going to happen in your life. I don't think that you're in full awareness. You're not. It's not something that you're expecting or seeking or necessarily anticipating right but it's coming and it's because you allowed yourself to dodge this bullet knowingly or unknowingly nice bottom of the deck perspective in the reverse mm. under that communication in the reverse i feel like you had to stop communicating with someone i feel like it's somebody that you might have had a really deep connection with but this protection this redirection was really just your protection. Play in the reverse and displacement. It's like you stopped this routine that you had with somebody or this connection or this environment that you were in, right? You stopped giving it the energy that you normally used to give it. And that's why spirit is kind of, I feel like your spirit guides kind of led you down that path. And I feel like you surrendered and listened and that's allowing you to take this new perspective not one that you normally would in this situation or with this person because you're so used to them right this is somebody you have a deep bond with but because you stopped communication and took that different perspective and quit giving them that energy you're now exiting this what used to be very deceptive or maybe perceived as trickery it's like now things are going smoother you're focused on you you're growing and i don't even think you realize how much you are growing the type of change that you're making for yourself like it's beautiful eight of cups on the split you're walking away from something to find your balance six of pentacles i i believe it i see it and you had to make this choice the two of swords in reverse you had to make a choice to walk away from something that was pulling you out of balance even though you might not have wanted to walk away from it. You knew that it was in your best interest or for your highest good or your guides led you down that path because they knew it was for your best interest and for your highest good.
protection, nine of pentacles in reverse, bond, five of pentacles. You literally, oh my goodness, <laughs> trickery in reverse clarified. All right, with the ace of pentacles in reverse, upheaval in reverse, the empress in reverse. Things are going so smooth for you. And page of cups in reverse, growth in anticipation in reverse. Bottom of the deck, 10 of swords in reverse, temperance in reverse under that. Aries, there was a situation, a cycle that you were in for a long time that was highly code. You were potentially codependent on it or they were codependent on you. Let's just call it how it is. This is somebody that pulled you further and further out of your own independence or your own power, right? This is somebody that made you feel potentially very protected and safe, but at the price of your own autonomy. Like... I feel like this is a situation where you were made to feel like you needed some, like you needed them. Like, I feel like whatever they did, the influence that they had over you made you feel as though you needed them. Like you, this was a, something you were convinced of. Um, it was not the truth. And you woke up to that, right? Because your spirits had to basically pull this out of your life or make you walk away from this or make this situation end because it was depleting you of potentially more than one thing. It could have been depleting you of finances, your health, your wealth, your stability, your peace of mind. But this bond is definitely, there's a bond, a very close bond or attachment that you had that you were basically, it was, it was taken from you or you walked away from it, right? Whether you know it or not, this was your guides in divine intervention, divine influence for your protection, right? This had to leave your life for your best, for your highest good because it wasn't good for you, you know? It was becoming not good for you, and you have gained a lot of enlightenment and truth throughout the experiences that you had with it, but that cycle has ended, it's over, and now it's, it's time for something new and different. I do see this trickery in reverse and Ace of Pentacles in reverse tells me that there could be someone from the past trying to come back or make you an offer at some point in time that they will sell... Um, to the best of their ability or in their best light to you to convince you that there's a new start here for you it will be a new start it's just not going to be a successful one right if you accept that but i do see a rejection here because you just oh my god my ears are ringing so loud you just do not um you don't believe in them or the situation anymore because of what it used to do to you in the past now we have upheaval in reverse and the empress this is you dodging a bullet seeing yourself embracing this divine elegance and beauty about yourself right male female you're just powerful right now you're just you stepped into this power because i feel like when you rejected this i feel like this past situation thought you were going to say yes and continue to give it another chance but the fact that you rejected it brought you into your own personal power in a way that you probably did not anticipate right you you i feel like you've grown in a way I feel like you're starting to like look in the mirror and see just how much you have grown. It's not that you were necessarily intending to feel these emotions or come to this realization after rejecting whatever this past offers you, but through that, you kind of realize just how empowering it was to understand that what used to be codependent is now independence, right? Successful independence, beautiful. Now we have Page of Cups in reverse, growth in anticipation in reverse. Somebody is does not think that you've changed and they think that they still have a foot in or a way into your life. And they're just, I see an offer being made again or an apology, but I don't see you interested in it. I don't, I don't think that you necessarily expecting this person to contact you or interact with you again because you freed yourself from them. But they don't think that, they don't know that you have basically bossed up they don't think that you're any different than the past so they think that they can still make these bullshit ass offers to you as if you will fall for it because they think you're still in uh, codependent on them on their energy on their love you reject that shit because you see it's a fake ass apology or just a fake ass offer ace of wands in reverse you reject that shit lovers in reverse i don't make it up you freed yourself from that past you're not working on that no more eight of pentacles in reverse three of cups in reverse rejection 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 you're not happy with that past situation because it depletes you of everything that you have built for yourself financially and just 
in regards to your stability. You're just fed up. You're done. You're done with the secrets. You're trying to move on. The moon card right here. You're just trying to move forward. And you're not here for the deceptive games or ways or whatever they're doing. Is what it is. Ace of Cups. Because there's a new beginning here for you. And you're taking that happily, proudly, and with open arms, Aries. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Let's clarify. The sun on the split and the queen of swords. Anyone or anything that is threatening to your happiness, your success, your bliss, that peace, they got to go. They got to go, Aries. Clarify the nine of pentacles in reverse. Ace of cups in reverse. You are no longer happy with this version of yourself that is codependent on the situation or this version of them that is codependent on you. There's a loss of love for the situation that you're in, and that truly is this protection, right? That is your protection to come to this understanding and realization of what the fuck your reality is and who this person is and what it's doing to you. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Sun. Ooh. You left something or someone, a bond, a deep connection that you had with somebody. Because it was no longer offering you the happiness that you deserved. You had to remove yourself from that environment, right? This was a very... It's like you were around people, places, or things that needed you. Or you felt like you needed them. That's when it was becoming toxic. Because it, you were in something where it's like, if I don't have them or... If they don't have you, then all then the world's falling apart. That's too unhealthy, okay? You can want somebody. You can want each other, desire each other, support each other, love each other. But once you start needing each other, it's like that's, it becomes toxic. And I feel like that's what you were in to some degree. And you start walking away in a different direction. You start chasing your happiness, trying to fulfill your happiness or explore what this new version of you knows happiness to be right explore that definition further for yourself which is really beautiful clarify the ace of pentacles in reverse the two of swords in reverse you had to make this choice a very definitive choice to basically say no to whatever illusions were being offered to you this new beginning that was being offered to you you're just not interested in that i feel like that could have happened recently for some aries clarify the empress the Knight of Wands. Ooh, you are happy. What else? The Fool. To be on this new beginning. Like, I swear to goodness. Me and these cards got a good relationship. <laughs> Aries, you're on a new path. You are excited. You are embracing that power, that beauty, that elegance, right? That strength within your soul. You are manifesting these new beginnings left and right. Anything that you're thinking of, be careful too because your thoughts do become your reality. But I feel like your thoughts are in the right place right now. You're trying to manifest something new, something passionate, something real, something soul that makes your soul light up, you know? And you're just, you're doing it. You're walking that path and you're not looking back. Clarify the Page of Cups in reverse. Damn, the Empress. Somebody sees who you've become. That's why they're trying to make this offer. They see how you bossed up in the Eight of Cups. And you're still like, nope. Nope. Not interested. Four of Cups. You're not interested in that shit. Ace of Wands in reverse again. You're just rejecting, 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 and protecting yourself. <laughs> I feel like this new beginning that you're on, it's like you're starting to come to this understanding that you weren't necessarily aware of before, just how much you've grown, the progress you've made. So anybody that's coming around with these bullshit ass offers, just because now they see you for who you are when they should have saw you for who you were way back when. Now that they see you, it's like, oh, Aries, come back. Aries is like, nope, I'm done. Moved on. I see myself now. I see that I was fucking up my own happiness in the past. So I'm taking that back and I'm running with it. That's what you're doing, Aries. I see you. <laughs> Aries. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, the high priestess. You know. You know. And you freed yourself. You know exactly what the fuck you're doing, why you're doing it, why you need to do it. It's for your highest good, your protection. Look, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. 
Death in reverse, the tower. Some shit failed, fell apart, or was destroyed so that you could get to your bliss, your happiness, your success. You are walking into a very, very powerful and abundant time period in your life because you overcame, right? You overcame or had the willpower to basically say no to things that you used to say yes to without the blink of an eye, you know? So good job taking, good job for what you're doing for yourself, for seeing yourself for who the fuck you are, because you are that powerful Aries. You really are. And now you see it. <laughs> so this was, I mean, you already knew, but now it's like you're allowing that knowing to be materialized into your everyday 3D world, which is beautiful. You set yourself free with the Eight of Swords reverse, Queen of Pentacles and High Priestess. The illusions are gone, and so are you from that past connection. Aries, this was your reading.